Hi guys, I'm Convict Tech and in this video I'm gonna be unboxing the latest Minix products from the Neo series, the Neo X8H Plus, the Neo Z64 Android version, the Neo Z64 Windows 8.1 version and the Minix Neo A2 Lite Fly Mouse. Let's start with the Minix Neo Z64, both Android and Windows version. This is the Android version. We have a nice product brochure with all the Minix Neo products. Very nice. A multi language setup guide. The device itself. Very nice packaging, I must say, from Minix. Here we have an IR remote, an HDMI cable, a USB to USB cable, maybe it's for flashing firmware, and the power adapter, which is very good quality. It has a Minix logo also. Now let's see what's in the box for the Windows version. The same product for sure, the device, a multi-language setup guide too, the HDMI cable, and the power adapter. And the last one is the Minix Neo X8H Plus with Android, the same product brochure, multi-language setup guide, the device, an HDMI cable, an IR remote, a USB on the go cable, the external Wi-Fi antenna, detachable, the power adapter and the micro USB to USB cable. We also have the Minix Neo A2 Lite fly mouse product brochure. The functions, here we see the functions. We have a power button, multitask button, menu, home, mute, navigation pad, OK, back, cursor key, and here is for up drawer, volume, up down, and playback options. On the back, we have a full QWERTY keyboard. Here we have the dongle to connect it to our TV box, and also a slot for battery, and here. We have another slot for a second battery. These two have an Intel Z3735F 64-bit CPU. They support Wi-Fi BGN. They have 2GB of RAM, 32GB of internal memory. They support Full HD 1080p playback. They also have support for XBMC. And this one runs Android 4.4.4, while this one runs Windows 8.1. The Minix Neo X8H Plus, the older model, has a quad-core Cortex-A9 processor. It is an Analogic S812, a Mali 450 GPU, 2GB of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal memory and it supports dual band Wi-Fi BGN AC and it has ARM CPU while these have a 64 bit. Now let's take a look around the devices. These two are exactly identical on the outside. They have an external Wi-Fi antenna, a 3.5 mm headphone jack, HDMI output, Ethernet and DC input. On the front we have the IR receiver and here we have power button, micro SD card slot and two more USB ports. On the bottom here we have the Android logo and here we have nothing. Also we have rubber pads to help the TV boxes stay in place. Now in comparison with the Minix Neo X8H Plus they are smaller in size as you can see. And they have one USB port less. And they have two USB ports instead of three. The X8H Plus has. The X8H also has an on the go port, USB on the go, and the microphone input. It also has a slot for normal sized SD cards. In addition to these, we have a micro SD card slot. Also, its antenna is detachable. Three very powerful TV boxes. For this one, I have already done an unboxing and a full review. You will find it by following the links in the video description. And stay tuned for my full review for these two guys. Thanks and bye bye.